Carrot Cake 3 is here. Bobby's here. Alright, guys, get going. Yep. Alright, they can start. Awesome. Go. The finals. I was trying to type in Yori into the watcher thing, and I saw uh, somebody was doing his name was Ramon Smells Good. The thing is, if you know how, if you know what Crispy is. three to rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> <laughs> so, for those watching on the YouTube, this is the finals of our Team Carrot Cake character deck tournament. This will see uh, Yuri with Waking the Dragons Joey take on Goof with uh, Waking the Dragons Kaiba. And as Kaflicklick said, I can now say better than myself. This kind of shows that even in the show, Power Creep was a thing. Oh, by the way, Kryptini wants to play his third place game. That's right now, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Weird, I Al Weird Al fan is on... Um, Shots fired in the chat. <laughs> Don't threaten to suicide yourself, please. No promises. You already called the timeout. You called it off. <laughs> Setting that Ryko. <laughs> <laughs> That would be a funny troll move. Just switch to a real deck. You can get penalties for that. Well, no shit. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> I think it's a game loss <laughs> the first time you do that. The little rocket warrior. That'd be pretty fun. Team Rocket <laughs> blasting off again. Oh, the cloning. The young cloning coming down. So, um, Yuri is definitely consistent. He, like I've said before, topped um, four at our last tournament, getting two second place. So obviously he's eyeing that first place right now. It's a, It eluded him in the first tournament in what was honestly one of the closest games I've ever seen. Both him and um, his opponent, Becky G, is the bye. They, again, they knew their respective decks very, very well. And it was quite an intense game. We'll see if there's a... Uh -oh. Rush card coming down here or something? Maybe. And then the other game, the third place game is going. So we'll we'll see who takes third. Uh, it becomes the end phase, doesn't it? No. No, it's when it's destroyed by a card no. effect. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Well, it doesn't... Oh, yeah, it does, because he didn't damage that. Is it a Karma Shields? Wow. That's quite the power play. Well, you know, the best Waking the Dragons tool we had was... Was Waking the Dragons Joey versus Battle City Joey. Honestly, the Waking the Dragons Joey deck is nothing to mess around. Unlike the Battle City Joy deck, which is kind of poo poo. And after this, we have the third Sucks and fourth. Or that no, third and fourth. Yeah, technically, things. it never goes to damage time, so normal. it can't activate that, but it is. Rough well, you, that you, his opponent knows you, that you can activate now. Kunai with Chain, even though it's not the damage step, but Goof has a first chance to respond with a card effect. So before Yuri could even activate um, Kunai with Chain. Goof can activate and get attack. Well, it's... now that a Kaiba Week in the Dragons deck has made it to the finals, Delta, how many Kaiba decks between both story arcs were registered for the tournament? Not participated, but how many were registered for the tournament? If you can give us a breakdown. A lot. Break it down. Five of the 16 players who entered the tournament, or who signed up for the tournament, were using Kaiba decks. So five out of 16 people who registered had a Kaiba deck. What was the ratio of... Wait After the initial dropouts, four out of 14 players in the tournament Ran were using Kaiba Black decks. Dragon. So Kaiba yeah, was very Black popular. Ray. And how many were waking the Dragon versus Battle City? 
Um, there was only one Waking the Dragons Kaiba. Oh, and we're watching it right now. So all three Battle City Kaiba decks that entered the tournament failed to make it finals, but the one Waking the Dragon Kaiba that did, did make it to finals. As well as... The only Waking of the Dragons Joey? Yep, the only Waking of the Dragons Ow. Joey deck. Oh no, there was another Waking of the Dragons Joey, but that player dropped as well, I believe, after the second tournament, or after the second round, without playing around, I believe. He didn't play first. Yes, yes, that Waking of the Dragons Joey dropped too. So this was the only Waking of the Dragons Joey that actually participated in the tournament. And it was interesting that three Battle City Kaibas didn't make it, and the only Waking Dragon Kaiba did. So definitely, definitely seems like Waking Dragon Kaiba is the superior choice for a Kaiba deck. Meanwhile, um... The only Crystal Beast deck that entered made it... it the only Crystal Beast deck that entered made it um, to top, and was the undefeated player, was the top seed. Which lost so. to... Which lost to Fiber Jar. And now... Lost to Wheeler. <laughs> Joey Wheeler! And what's left now? Yeah, um, it was a Yugi deck? Yep. Uh, yes. Waking Dragon Yugi was the other deck that made top four. Okay, so that's... So every different character of, of, uh, the original crew's Waking Dragon's deck made it. Oh, yeah, so, so the top four consists of four indi four unique decks, which don't duplicates, and they are the three Waking the Dragon's decks of the, the main characters. So, not Raphael. Joey Kaiba Yugi. And then Crystal Beasts. Um, what impressed me was actually the one strings deck that made it into the tournament. I thought that was a very interesting choice, and it, it, it didn't turn out too bad for them. Um, then there were other exciting decks. I was happy to see Electric oh, deck. I know, I know. There were a couple interesting decks and duels that were never featured. The strings deck, I don't know how much of the Arcana deck was featured, or the Electric deck. The Electric deck was there and it was really you know cool to see Lecter who you know isn't very talked about we don't talk about the big five very much you know they were built because they were kind of cool and more for the purpose of having them as a collection of you know these are the big five but Lecter's lockdown strategy is actually very interesting and I'm not saying it's the most effective deck because it does have flaws it does have monsters that are not ideal like Dream Sprite or he taps, uh, not taps me, um, Hero Shadow Scout. But the lockdown aspect of it with Jinzo plus Amplifier. Oh! Oh! There it is again. That Fiber Jar. That breaks games. It breaks heart. Hearts. It ruins families. It's that reset button. Well, we don't know what's in their hands, so but we do know that um, you know Goof is getting back a monster reborn. Yeah, but he had a judgment on the field; he lost it. He already normal summoned this turn. What are you? Oh, he did. Yeah, that's really, true. I mean, he does uh, go. Really back. He does get set back a turn. That kind of sucks. But... Yeah, I'm just know yeah, how he summoned the Z metal tank. The way Goof was explaining. Is that, is this little, you know what jewel this is? Um, oh, you have to just start. Oh, he gets the alligator sword back. Sword. <laughs> and cloning. <laughs> oh my god. Did we just go back in time? I think we did. <laughs> Must have a time wizard up in here. I hope so. Dude, my, my nips are still so hard from that time as we play. That's crazy, man. You know, when I was at the dinner, <clears throat> Oh, the ghosty. Hey, the strings player is still watching. Nice. I used strings because of how fun it was in tents. In testing. I was tempted to use Merrick because of Raza Rata that says you have to say the chant. <laughs> <laughs> oh Kaiser Seahorse effect Putting in work I honestly would not be surprised If Waking the Dragons Joey takes a tournament 
It's a much stronger deck than people give it credit for. But then again, it also wouldn't surprise me Waking the Dragons Kaiba takes the tournament. Yeah, it's a 50-50. I mean, right now Joey's staring down at Blue Eyes. You know, compared to some of the other decks that have been in this in this tournament, this is definitely, like, probably Ooh. the best matchup. Spear Dragon! Free 1900 damage. Wow. Oh, man, that hurts. Yeah, that's gonna really hurt. This game could be over. Now, an inter interesting choice not to attack the face down. An interesting, an interesting. Maybe attacks into a fiber jar. That's just such a huge setback there, <sighs> since you're a normal song. Um, an interesting byproduct of the tournament is that we can see a lot of decks interact. Um, that we wouldn't have necessarily paired before. Yeah. So, in addition to all the duels that Delta and I do and most of which end up on the channel. This tournament allowed us to see other decks interact that we haven't done yet, or and may not do for quite a while, to see how characters stack up, because we're always trying to figure out how to rank our characters. Who beats who, who's weak against who, you know, who's strong against who, and how that plays out. Like a rock, paper, scissors. Which is, I mean, which is why we ended up stacking, like, Crystal Beasts, um... Or, uh -oh. or Crump, or Bastion, or Mai at the top of our list is because these we decks see them win a lot. these decks consistently, consistently oh. put out oh. put out good results. But it only takes control until the end of the turn, oh. correct? Until yeah. your oh, until your end phase. Yeah. Wow. So they're gonna stay until his next turn. Oh, dude, this That's could be crazy. A game-ending play. He could attack and then tribute for something. Hey, and no might coaching, be all no over. coaching. Oh, no. They're until... Yeah, Goof realizes. Good sportsman, Goof. Yeah, good... Yeah, props everybody for being honest throughout the tournament. We, we really appreciate you guys just being upstanding members of the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. Yeah, I mean, again, we didn't watch every duel, but in a lot of duels, we saw misplays... And we saw <laughs> both players. Goof's true. <laughs> Goof's right. <laughs> so yeah, this play is even better for Yuri yeah, than he realized. Such an asshole, he'd win more games. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, there were some things, and the thing is too, we didn't talk about them all on the stream. I there was some stuff I saw, I didn't talk about because I didn't want to call anybody out and say that this guy over here messed up. But I saw some mess ups, and then I watched the two players resolve it. And we really appreciate you guys both saying, "Okay, hey, you messed up. Yeah, all right, oh, my bad." And then grave robber could be huge. Yeah, he's taking monster born for uh. For even the even the magical hats debacle that we just had, both players were still very respectful of what happened. And although, you know, wow. arguably they weren't, you know, thrilled with it, you know. They still work through it, and we really appreciate you guys holding up your end. And is this enough for game? No. Wow, it's two hundred short. Oh man, does he see it? Two hundred short. That was a huge play. That was. Ah, uh, Miss Lethal. Oh, did he not use the swordsman buff? He didn't use the swordsman effect. No, he doesn't have another warrior. He yeah, it needs to be on a warrior. It. Oh, it has to be a warrior. Yeah, yeah, no, he he oh. he played that right. But if okay. uh if Goofier has another monster, this could be game. Oh. Okay, not game, but oh oh wow! If the two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. So That's this will be oh, 1,400, and then 1,200. This is definitely game. It's game. Damn, yo. Rebo? Wow. There's, yeah, that's this game. GG. Oh, oh, All two. right, so Goof is taking this to a third game. That was a huge, huge turn by Yuri. Almost stealing the game, but Goof with 200 found a way. Oh, wow. Now, the other byproduct of these character deck games and seeing decks paired against each other 
is we can actually see a meta develop among our character decks. We can see which decks are top tier in a character deck meta. We can also see who's popular. That was Kaiba this time. Kaiba <laughs> Yeah, was... Kaiba's a very popular character, but not necessarily the best, because as we saw, four Kaiba decks entered the tournament, much more than any other character, and only one topped. But out of the one Waking the Dragon Joey deck that played in the tournament, yeah. and the one Crystal Beast Jesse deck that played in the tournament, and the two Yugi decks that played in the tournament, I believe, two or three, only one of each top. And again, and we're not saying Kaiba's the most popular character ever. To do that, we'd have to get a much bigger group, and we'd have to pull you guys, which we had done in the past through our forum, which is long gone since we got much more feedback than we needed. But at least out of this section of this tournament, Kaiba was very popular. Yeah. Then there were other decks. People picked decks for fun. People picked decks for strategy, oh. based on what everyone thought. We have that Moran Captain Blue Flame Swordsman play. But, um... Oh, the Marauding Blue Flame? Oh, Gate Attack. No, but yeah, but one of the byproducts is that you guys are really helping us to get a lot of feedback on our decks see and how they like, play. See better. Like Delta said, it's kind of created a oh, meta crush now. Card. Oh no! Because no. we've now established a, t a real large, a large scale tournament through not I mean not Semi large scale. scale. <laughs> it's more than five or six people. There were a good chunk of you that even if you didn't all oh, play. Oh, does he have to attack Moron? You Captain, pick decks. Yeah, he's got yeah. to attack Moroni. Oh. Yeah. oh, that sucks, man. That's so, real, and the, the shrink is already activated and gone to the graveyard, so. Yeah, if Yuri wants to let him take it back, he can. but yeah, he doesn't have to. It's up to Yuri, yeah, but he 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 can say no. Yeah, so this actually might be the game. Can I flip up face down then? Uh oh, before the battle phase, uh, that's if he means to face uh, down monster, then it's up to Yuri. If he means to face down spell trap, he is able to chain it. Should we message them? I hate to be rule shark. Okay. That's fine. But he, he, he can also use blue flame to... <laughs> yeah, affect blue flame. Yeah, so it will still die to the Lord of D. But the pitch dark will get over the blue flame. But honestly... Can't he'll lose... Yeah, he can't attack it though. Oh yeah, he can't attack it. Captain's now. still alive. Oh yeah, this is probably well, just. Yuri had an answer anyway, so it don't matter. This is probably just game. Yeah, so uh, he he wasn't being a rule shark. He let Goof flip up pitch dark, but Goof didn't realize that that's worse for him. This is just this is just tough. Meanwhile, the other duel and oh, a side pick, This is probably over. That's definitely done. This is some really... And this is first place. Yeah. Okay. Meanwhile, in the second rule for third and fourth places, I was seeing Dark Magician stare down Crystal Beasts, but the tides have turned, and there is Crystal Beasts staring down where Dark Magician <laughs> used to be. A lot of, lot of good plays. See, this really showcases, though, that sometimes the first person to make a mistake, the first person to not make every correct and every optimal play will lose, and that can be what decides the game, you know. Oh! Cross down. Yolo blue eyes. Says. Judgment. He can't summon blue eyes. Okay, he can summon blue eyes. Still has to Yeah, you still attack them rotting. Attack it, bro. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe Goof is going on tilt. <laughs> Rage quit. Dude, I know. Feeling. I know what going through right now. Like, yo, yeah, he gets a boost blue flame again. Oh, oh god, that's man. that is that a disgusting com combo. <laughs> Wait, now, but what happens when Shrink wears off in blue flame swordsman? So Shrink has blue flame swordsman to 900. It loses 600 to boost marauding captain. Now the end phase. The, 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 it still goes back to the full 1200. It only affects the original attack. Okay, yeah. Uh, so he can lose the 600 here. So this will this will be right. game probably. I, I think Goof fell victim to like you know he's been he I mean he's a he's a good duelist he's been playing well all night. Yeah, of I course. He's, just, he's been playing for too long. He's probably tired. Yeah, the fatigue is yeah. probably set in. Well, yeah. 
like we said, there's that elusive first place that escaped uh, Yuri last time. Well, I think it's actually earlier for Yak. I'm sorry, Yak. It was Yak last time. Dark. No, I mean, I think it's early. It's... Oh, yeah, it's early in the day, so... Yari, is it like 4 in the morning for you now? No, it's got to be later than 4 in the morning. 